Hey, it's Monday and I'm Midja. And recently I've had a number of friends come up to me with that certain look in their eye, with their hands up, surrendering, saying, I'm done, Midge. I just can't do it all any longer. And I nod because I understand. That futile attempt at trying to keep all the plates up and spinning and eventually the plates smash. When I started my business, I had a mentor that asked me to describe my goals, my dreams. And back then and still today, those goals are big and hairy and audacious. And she said to me something that I'll never forget. She said, you know what, to succeed, to achieve your goals, it's not so much about what you're willing to do, but it's more about what you're willing to give up. That old saying that you can have anything you want, you just can't have everything, at least not all at the same time. So let's think about a goal. If you had a goal of, say, running your own business, what are you willing to give up in order to achieve that goal? Maybe it's your weekends, time with family. Maybe it's a regular income or that interaction that you get from being in the office and being part of a team. Maybe you've got a goal of being a mum and taking your kids to school every day and going to assemblies and class plays and being there for them in the afternoons when they get home from school. So again, if that's the goal, what are you willing to give up to achieve that? Because something's got to give. And that something is a decision that you have to make. And I believe that if you make that a conscious choice, then you won't regret it. If it's a choice made on your strongest and deepest personal values, and on what is going to give you meaning and motivation in your life, then it will be the right choice for you. And your values, of course, will change over time, and so will your priorities. And I think as we get more experience in life, as we stumble and make mistakes and stuff up and fail, we get to learn more about ourselves and what we truly want out of life and what matters most. I think we all know, like an 80 year old, who does and says exactly what they want. What a great way to live. And I don't want you to have to wait until you're 80 to experience that. Because we make choices every single day about what we do and what we don't do. And when we say yes to someone or something, we're also saying no to something or someone. It's up to you to make those decisions. So I want to ask you, what's your big goal at the moment? How do you want to live your life? And what are you willing to give up to achieve it? I am, I can, I'm Midja. Bye guys.